Hi everyone, this is Lily with Outfits for My Closet and in today's video, I'd like to show you how to dress up your handbags with these lovely scarves. I've been seeing people protecting their handbags, the handle part of the bag with scarves and I just don't want to spend too much money on the scarves because they do go up to about two to three hundred dollars depending on what luxury brand you are looking for. I just wanted something generic. So I went on Amazon and I found several different sellers selling the scarves for pretty affordable prices. This particular seller, and I will put a link below this video, has these scarves in pairs. So you will get each design in two. The scarves that I bought has 24 pieces total. So that makes 12 pairs of scarves. This group of scarves come in orange, pink, the fuchsia pink, combination of pink and tan, red and beige with brown accents, black and tan, so sea green and beige, fuchsia pink with tan color as base, tan one with accents of violet color on there. And of course, this blue one with the other one on my head. This is a great combination of scarves for all the handbags that you own. You can put it over the handle on handbags or you can put it over the back strap that's attached to the backpack. I'm going to show you what I put on the bags that I own and I'm going to show you how to put them on. So here I have the Louis Vuitton white multicolor in the style called Priscilla, the Priscilla bag. On this bag, I chose the scarf that has white, navy blue, and golden yellow accents. And I think it matches pretty well. This bag is really versatile. It has so many different colors. So I think any of these scarves would be okay to put over the handles. But I really like the combination of the navy blue and the gold. This is my Speedy 25. It's not the bandolier. So it's just a handbag with handles on top. And I've had this bag since 2003. It's tanned really, really nicely. The patina has a very honey golden color on there, but it doesn't hurt to protect the handle even though I've been using this bag for almost 20 years. So I chose the leopard or the animal print to go over these handles. If you see my other video, you would see that I protected this brand new Damier Azor Speedy 30 with leather conditioner on there. I also have the Apple Guard that I will use later to spray um, over the handles to protect markings. But I also got the Carbon Pro to protect the canvas piece. I will show in a different video how I'm going to do that. But for now, I'm going to pick a pair of scarves to go over the handles. I think the orange would look really nice on there just to give it a autumn color accent. Not so sure if the black one would match too well on this, so I'm not gonna use the black one. The green one might be cute if I'm wearing something that complements this color of green or this shade of green. I'm not sure if the fuchsia color would match this too well because the leather has not tanned too dark yet. So I think I will pick something a little bit lighter. I have my eyes on this pair and I actually have this in mind when I purchased the scarves on Amazon. I did see this design amongst all the other designs and this color is what I'm going to use for this Speedy. What I love about these scarves is when you buy them, they do come individually packaged. Now, because these are so inexpensive, don't expect it to be high quality silk or even silk imitation. It feels very slippery and it's pretty high gloss. 
So if you know your cloth material, this definitely feels like polyester or a polyester blend. The particular style of wrapping that I did on my other two bags is a very simple one. I just leave a little bit of tail on one end and then I just keep wrapping the scarf around the handle. And this takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out how much to go out or how much to hold back on the wraps. How does that look? I can't see upside down. Okay, so I gotta be mindful of where the middle point of the scarf is and because they are folded when they package them so you can easily tell where the middle is. So by the time you get to the middle, the handle is about where the middle of the scarf should be. Okay, I'm coming towards the end of the other side. You have to gauge where the tail is going to end up. So I think this is about right. So what I do is I do one more wrap around. I hold the last wrap with my finger and I hold the tail with my other hand. And I gently tuck it in to the last wrap of the scarf and then pull it out from the other side if i can find it there we go and uh oh it's a little bit too short compared to the left side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen up the wrap and adjust it right around here i have to leave more room for the tail so i have to spread out the scarf a little bit more. So I'm at the middle right now. I'm gonna do this again, except this time instead of overlapping too much, I'm just gonna go forward a little quicker towards the other side. This looks promising. Okay, I guess I have to come down further to wrap the remainder of the Rochetta leather. Now I have more tail at the end. I'm going to put my finger here in the last wrap and take the tail and tuck it over the last wrap on the scarf and then pull it out on the other side. I think this will do. What do you guys think? It's a little longer than the other side, but I could adjust it so that it wraps down further and the tail will shorten up when I do that. Okay, it's as good as it gets. All right, let's go to the other side. Eh, it's all right. Okay, let's go to the other side. And voila, done. I think this side is a little bit more proportioned than the other side. So here you go. Protected handles with imitation fashion silk scarf.